very much, Lord, excellence. Teresa Kufo. The late Mrs. Teresa Kufo, whose maiden name was Teresa Mensa, was born on 25th October 1935 to Mr. and Mrs. Samuel Kwabina Mensa at Wenchi in the Brongahafo region, now the Bono region. Her father was an accomplished businessman who owned a number of retail shops whilst her mother was a homemaker. The late Mrs. Kufo is known, among other things, for her expertise in nursing management and administration. Education was indispensable in her journey to become a great asset in the field of nursing, specifically midwifery. She started her education at the Catholic convent, Our, Mother, Our Lady of Assumption, Ola, at the Keta in the Volta region, which enabled her to become fluent in Ewe. She later studied in Edinburgh, Scotland, as a registered general nurse in the Southern Hospital Group of Nursing. As a go-getter and someone full of passion for the nursing profession, Mrs. Kufo pursued further studies at Radcliffe Infirmary in Oxford and the Paddington General Hospital in London becoming a state certified midwife with a certificate in premature nursing. With a demonstrated high level of knowledge, hard work, commitment, and passion, the late Mrs. Kufo rose through the ranks of her profession and at a point became the administrator at the Royal College of nursing in London. She met the man who subsequently became the love of her life, John Kufo, in Oxford, with both of them pursuing further study in the United Kingdom. On 8 September 1962, they got married and were blessed in their 62 years of their great marriage with five children, the first three coming in the first three years of marriage. As an individual characterized by optimism and positivism, Mrs. Kufwa unwaveringly supported her husband in his political career and ultimately in his campaign for the presidency. She became the first lady when her husband became the second president of the Fourth Republic from 7 January 2001 to 6 January 2009. She endeared herself to many people and all who encountered her on a personal level through her humility, motherliness, and hospitality. She played an instrumental role during the administration of her husband, 
A noteworthy impact she made during her tenure as the First Lady was her advocacy for the implementation of UNESCO's free, compulsory, universal, basic education program for kindergarten children in the year white paper on the educational reforms. The objective of the policy was that all Ghanaian children at the age of four should receive two years compulsory early childhood development before entering primary one. In line with her support for underprivileged children and mothers, Inspired by her compassion and empathy, she was involved in numerous charitable and philanthropic endeavors. Her direct involvement and commitment to the welfare of poor children and mothers were also evident in the establishment of the Mother and Child Community Development Foundation, MCCDF, in June. <laughs>